Okay. Now there should be, oh, there's Holly. Hello, Holly. Okay. Hello, now I have sound. Now we have sound, aha, got it. Sometimes it, there's just too many things I need to push. <laughs> And I'll forget to push them, but I got it. I got it. Okay, let's get this up on top of that so that I can see it at real time and it doesn't confuse me too much. Oh yeah, then I pushed the wrong button. There. Here we here we go. Okay, I'm just going to switch it over to my hands because you don't need to see me anymore. <laughs> There, okay. This is, I don't know. I've got this, my phone in a different spot tonight and I feel like, hang on, I have to move over. <laughs> it's bad. If I'm out like an inch on my table, the, my chair just doesn't sit right and it bothers me. So, hello. Oh, there's people over there. Hello. Who have we got? We got Holly in studio, Yvonne and Connie and Valerie and Norma and Sharon. Yay. Everybody's here in the pool, in the happy hippopotamus pool. I'm going to create with the hippest hippos tonight. Isn't that adorable? It is. I love it. But first, I have a couple of cards to share with you because I got a couple of cards and it's it's nice to share Ooh, hang on I have to this bow's starting to unravel so let me fix the bow there we go I got this one from my friend Diane let me check yep <laughs> I had to make sure I got it right Diane Inkster isn't that cute she's that one of my, she's one of my silver sisters now I believe if I'm not mistaken, I think that's that digital download. Let me go and have a look. Did I, did I keep that or did I get rid of it? Oh, yeah, I've probably gotten rid of it now. Mm, maybe it's under stuff to keep. Creative download. Okay, I'm going to share my screen as soon as I find my Zoom. I'm going to share my screen because I think it's in this creative download that Stamping Up had that I downloaded and then never, ever, ever used. So let's just see. There it is. It's there. So this is a, a digital stamp and you print it out on cardstock apparently i downloaded it and never ever used it i don't know whether it's still available or not but it's got different a whole bunch of different um languages and few pictures and then down there there was flowers there's a flower oh i know what it is these are flowers of each country or something to do with each country i don't know which language that is but this one is canada <laughs> canada then there's apple pie for the states and this one is New Zealand. Kia Ora is New Zealand. I know that. There's Oh, that must be Holland or whatever they call it now because there's the Dutch shoes. Some flowers. Anyways, there we go. I, I've discovered where it's from because I was wondering what it was. Okay, let's get my screen back where it was i'm sorry i digress it's a cute card i like it and then i got one today from valerie that's pretty i haven't used that bundle in a while it is it's lovely and then 
wait, I'll take the note out of the middle of it. So you can see she even did the inside. And there's there's Winky on the flowers, that flower anyway, it's not the other two, but this, this flower has Winky. Lovely, thank you ladies. I love receiving cards. Okay, I tell you, I am so tired tonight. I just spent three days running around after a two-year-old and a seven-year-old. <laughs> They're cute, but holy man, they just don't ever stop. It was, it was fun. <laughs> so if I fall asleep in the middle of all this, then <laughs> please wake me up. <laughs> I usually get a nap after dinner and that didn't happen because Phil and Heather dropped in. So that was the end of my nap after dinner too. So Hippest Hippos is from the celebration brochure. It is the very first thing in the celebration. The stamp set you can get free with a $60 order. And look at these cards. What? That was adorable. And I never really looked at it. Because I looked at the stamp set and I thought, oh, those are cute. It's got a, three little hippos and four sentiments. That's kind of fun. But the dies, oh my God, the dies. Do you see them? They're also free with a $60 order. So there is a mask and snorkel. Or if you turn this one over, I think it was Connie that suggested it. If you turn this one over and put it in there, it becomes a shower head a pair of glasses, a party hat, a life ring, some hearts, uh, an umbrella, some grass, uh, water drops. It's got a boat and a propeller for the boat. And then this is a wave. So the wave cuts the top, not the bottom. So you can make it as tall or as short as you want it. So there you go. $60 order. And then there is the Rings of Love designer paper, also $60. And then cards and envelopes. Now, I looked at these and I thought, oh, no, I don't usually go for this stuff, but I got them. And you know what? They make amazing designer paper for behind a card. Let me get them and show them to you. Tell me I know where they are. There they are. Oh, but that's not the one I opened. That won't work. There's the one I opened. I don't want to open that one because that might be a gift, a giveaway gift at some point. So you get full size cards and full size envelopes. They're not note cards. There is green and there is blue hence the reason they're called pool party and soft sea foam who knew we eh? okay so the envelopes are only soft sea foam but they have pool party on the inside and then you get pool party card bases and you get soft sea foam card bases and they're you lovely used, you used that on cards you showed us the other night Yes, for my, for my elephant class. I think it's the elephant class I used. So anybody who's taken my elephant class is going to get these to play with because they're fun. So that's what that's what this is. And then there is stylus sketches. If you like animals, they're really cute. But then that's got this. And I don't know whether those are acorns or does anybody know what those are? They're a little poofy things i don't know what they are then there's white and white with silver and gold six by six designer paper and this is um uh, foiled blah blah this stamp, stamp set is 120 figs mm, figs mm. You may be right there, Norma. 
I'll get it up nice and close. They kind of look like the fig leaves that are on my fig tree. Of course, I have a huge fig tree. It's like 12, 14 feet high, and it has four figs on it. Yes, four. Anyways, this one is 120. Then there's the tree lot dies. I'm going to use these tonight too. Now, these coordinate with um, what's it called? The trees for sale stamp set that's in the new catalog, but you don't have to use them with that. You can use them by themselves. And then they always do a stamp set and designer paper bundle. And this one is gorgeous. And if you have a party or you get, you order yourself $375 worth, you get perfect pomegranate as the free hostess set this year for there this time for celebration. Okay, you know what I didn't get out was my flowers. Where are they? Blah, blah. Loose flower flourishes. There we are. Because I put flowers on the on the end of these stems. <laughs> this, these hippopotami are so cute. Is it hippopotamuses or hippopotami? Anybody know? Well, I think if it's the Christmas thing, it's hippopotamuses. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. There's a song about that, you know. There is, which is why I said that it's going through my head. <laughs> Thank you. Now it's going through my head too. <laughs> I like to share. You're, you're wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So I'm using mostly white tonight, white base, white for the inside and white um, deckled rectangle dies to cut out the front. This is a piece of the new, hang on, I need my list here. This is a piece of the new glimmer paper from the mini catalog. And I just wrote down glimmer paper, but I don't know. There it is. It, oh, that's what it's called. It's called glimmer paper. Who knew? Apparently I know I was wrote down the right thing. <laughs> Valerie now has the Tell Us ad, which is the same song in her head, too. We're sharing tonight, everybody. So Glimmer Paper comes in Evening Evergreen, Vanilla, and Gold. Ooh. You get two of each of those sheets. So that's what this is. And then I put adhesive sheet on the back of that. And some white for to do him and some white for the sentiment. That's it and the envelope and the inside. So I've used um, gray granite to color it because I wanted to give it a like a, a warm grayish tony thing. Okay, step one. The background stamp set is oceanfront. And then I'm using the hippest hippos stamp set and coordinating dies. And the sentiment comes from art gallery because I'm really short on birthday cards. So that's why I'm making birthday cards. Then the, the sentiment is cut out to, uh, with one of the dies from the sending dies. And the decal rectangles. And then the tree lots is I used for the trees. So now you're all caught up. My, the color palette, basic gray, balmy blue, hair pizzazz, soft suede, and garden green. Okay, get that out of the way. Step one, deckle rectangles. This one is, is it the largest one? I think it was. Yep. So the darkest, darkest, the biggest one. 
So while I'm doing that, tell me, how was your week? Did you do anything exciting other than try to stay warm in our wintry like weather? Yeah, that just about covers it. Hmm. But today was a lovely day and I got out and did some weeding, which made me happy. Lovely. Well, I went out for a walk with the kids um, before lunch. We went in. Blake wanted to go walk around the dead people or ride his bike around the dead people. So we went over and he rode his bike and I did Maggie in the, in the, uh, what's that thing called? Stroller? Stroller, yeah. I was going to say buggy, but that, it wasn't a buggy. It was a stroller. And I had a sweater on because it was cold when I went. Okay, there we go. We got the deco. Rectangle is cut. Now, get out my tree lot dies. Have you guys seen these ones? Have you got them? Have you played with them? Don't you love them? No, no, haven't got them. And so far they haven't really appealed, but, mm -hmm. but I'm sure you're going to change that. <laughs> Isn't that a That's cute. And then my friend Leanne last night made one and she took, she cased it from somebody and I don't remember who, I'm sorry, but she took, you know, the Grove dies that has that background thing. Yeah. So she cut out a hill with the grove dies, added a few trees, and made her um, trailer. What did she use? Bermuda Bay, I think. Or was it Coastal Cabana? Maybe it was Coastal Cabana. And white. And then she put black tires on it. And she put a black hitch on it. <laughs> it was adorable. So you're going to, you by the time you have a month into celebration, you're gonna be wanting to get them yourself. So just give up and get them. Don't fight it. Okay, I'm getting the two trees that I wanna use. Uh, Valerie said she did a bike ride called Orkin Man because she got stung twice by nice nasty, oh, ew, hornets. Ugh. Oh, yuck. call the Orkin man. So I'm going to cut these out of this piece of evening evergreen glimmer paper. I was sitting here thinking of uh, my nephew from Alberta that I haven't seen in seven years dropped in for coffee this morning and I <laughs> thought, I forgot about that. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I'm not going to tell him that. <laughs> There we go. Got the trees. Hey, Marsha. Oh, Connie says she's, they're not on her list either. Oh, you guys. You don't know what well, you're missing. Glenda the enabler may change our minds. <laughs> I got one coming. Um, who else? I missed. Hang on. I missed. Marsha is here from Texas. Hello, Marsha. You're up late tonight. Oh, no, we established it was two hours, I think, right? Can I put this on the front instead of this one? Is it all right if I put Miss it's Pointy? Your, it's your card. You're really allowed to do what you want because this isn't a collaboration thing. I'm going to use her on the front because she is just so adorable. There we go. So there's the front. She and is a cute little ballerina. Yep. We'll put the one with the flower on the inside. And then we'll put the, the other one on the envelope. And then I've used all three of them. So 
So are you liking the the hippos or are those another thing that you're not quite sure of? I haven't done anything with them yet other than, you know, do the thing with the dyes so that I know what they are in that. Yeah. That's always a good thing. Okay. So I'm not going to color the envelope and I'm not going to color this until I get it cut out because then if I screw it up, then I don't waste all that, all that time coloring and have to color again. So I'm going to, Marsha likes the hippos. Valerie says, maybe Norma says she hasn't used it yet, but they're adorable. I agree. They are super cute. Okay. Yes, they are. Ah, uh, I can't do that one. I'm trying to line this up so I can die cut it in. It's not working one handed. I have to get both hands in there. There we go. Okay, that's done. Put the hippos away. Maybe get on there. I've seen so many cute cards with these hippos in bathtubs and with um, snorkels on and sunglasses on. I'm coloring with light gray granite and leaving part of the ears so I can put pink in the ears. So I got my email last night to go and get my fourth booster shot. So ah. all, set, all set up to do that. I thought they were late contacting me, but I looked at my card and it was the 6th of January that I was in. So they're right on the ball. It's obviously because you get to go with Ted. Nope. It was to me. Yeah, no, but the reason you're eligible is because you started off with Ted or whatever, because otherwise you have to be 70. Oh, right. Or have underlying health conditions or be Indigenous and 55. Okay, well, none of those are true. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, no. Pay attention. I just started her tutu in gray. Let's just see if I can get rid of that. I don't know why. Because I'm not 70. Thank the Lord. I'm not indigenous. I don't have underly underlying health issues. But Ted, but is, old. Ted is 70 or over, right? Yeah, he's really old. Well, I'm not going to say he's really old. I'm just <laughs> going to say he's over 70 because you might have told us that. He, yeah. he is 70 this year. That's hard to fathom when they get that old. How could that possibly happen? Uh, when my girlfriend was here on Sunday, we were talking and I said to her, how the heck did everybody get so old? So old? Because we're not. Yeah. Isn't that cute? He's so adorable. She, I guess this one's a she. Well, no, I shouldn't say that. I don't want to make assumptions like that. This hippo is adorable. I'm just going to make parts of the hippo darker by adding a second layer of the light. I used the dark on the original one, but I don't want to do that with this one. You see how it almost took all of that color that I put on the tutu away? I just yeah. have to put a little bit more on there and it'll be gone. 
thank the Lord. All right. Don't want the belly dark and I don't want the, the face dark, but there we go. Put a little bit more this on the tutu, get rid of the rest of that gray. Yvonne is undecided about the hippos. Don't have small kids, so makes it hard to give away. Oh, I don't think it makes it hard to give away, Yvonne. You just have to be young at heart. You don't oh, have yeah. to. I'm not going to give these to my grandchildren. You never know. Oh, it was Yvonne's birthday. Was it yesterday, Yvonne? Happy birthday to you. Yes. So let me check. Yeah, it was yesterday was Yvonne's birthday. Well, happy belated, Yvonne. It's too bad I didn't have this done. I could have sent it to you for your birthday. There. Oh, the pink tutu. That's dark polished pink wondering this is what is this light flirty flamingo i'm going to do the insides of the ears the nostrils and her thing their fingernails now maybe i should make the ballet shoes dark too oh maybe light polish pink so there's a little bit of contrast don't forget to winky her tutu. I am going to do that, Valerie. Absolutely. Everybody's wishing Evo on a happy birthday. That's lovely. Okay, wink Estella on the tutu. Do do do. And let's make her slippers. Going to do two. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, it's getting warm in here. I might have to go turn my fan on. Okay, so we have the trees done. We have the hippo done. Let's stamp the sentiment. One year older, thanks for the birthday wishes. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to believe. I lost my birth happy birthday stamp. You should see the pile of stamps I have because I have to make that background. There we are. Okay, get rid of that color. Now I need my sending dies. I like these dies for from the sending dies. And what I did was, it's a little bit too long for this happy birthday. So I just did it off to the left and then I blunt cut there. It worked quite well. So I'm going to do that again. Maybe. Ah, oh, it moved. Don't move, sit, stay. All right. There's the sentiment. Put that away. And then I'll just shut this window of this person that just messaged me. Because, <laughs> you know, they always, that always happens. It's like my phone never rings until I have a class, an in person class, and then I get a phone call. Okay, let's get rid of these.
I like this water, was it waterfront? What was it called? Oceanfront. I like the Oceanfront stamp set because you can do so many things with it in the background. Oh, I'm using pear pizzazz, full strength pear pizzazz to put this piece. Oop. Hang on. I lost my visual. There we go. I'm going to put this piece on here. I'm going to match up the horizon. And this is full strength. And then the down here, I'm going to put, um, I'm going to stamp it off before I use. Oh, I know what I did. Okay. So this is going to line up right there with the horizon like that, pick it up, turn it around and stamp it again. So you get really, really light. Mm -hmm. And this one, I didn't put the dots, but I really want to put dots on there, but I want to get the rocks on first because these rocks are not um, die cut. They're just, they're stamped right on there. So get out the soft suede and two rocks on the left. And one big boulder on the right. There's something on there. I have to remove that, whatever that is. Or I would have had a blob. That's what happened here. See that? There was something on my stamp from the ink pad. That's better. Okay, one big boulder. Now, oh, where's my stamp set go? Because I need my masks. Out. Masking paper. Oh my goodness, I love my masking paper. I was visually impaired there for a sec I had to fix it so I'm going to put my masking paper right over top of the stamp images and this is the our new masking paper so that's why I can get the the grasses to be right up against it there's that halo stuff doesn't happen okay now comes garden green and the tall grass is going to go here. Like that. Thanks, Marcia. And then the short grass. I'm going to put one behind this side and I'm going to put one behind this side. And then I'm going to put one in front after I take the mask off. But now I want to, I want to do a little addition because on this one, I didn't use the, the dots. I want to put dots in this green and I can do it with the mask on because then it, if it won't go over top of the, rocks should have stamped them off first oh well hang on i want to put some down here stamped off ones there well, there we go we have the stamps on. Now to pull these, this um, 
masking paper up, I always use my pokey tool because it's really quite fragile and I don't want to rip it. I want to be able to use it again. There we go. Ooh, I like it. Okay, put my masks away back in my stamp set so I know where they are. And we have one more little little grass to put in here. Right there. Ta-da! It's done. It is such a quick and well, it's not quick, but it's an easy card, and you could set up and do multiples of this card. if you wanted and you if you were doing things for like to send overseas and they have to be thin you wouldn't even have to put the hippopotamus it's stuck where i didn't want it on dimensionals you could just stamp him and put um masking paper over top of him and then or her and then you would have a completely flat card that would be less expensive to send overseas. Okay, I'm going to put Tombow on the ends of all of these long grassy things and let it dry so I can put my flower flourishes on there. There we go. Now, the trees have adhesive on them. I just have to get the pieces out. Do a little rolly thing. Because they do, most of them come out if you kind of roll it like this. there oops end up with having to take only one out which is not bad considering how many there are and that's going to go over here well let's make it straight it's not tofino you don't need a blowing over tree okay the other one but that's a good thing to remember, because if you do happen to get your trees on a little bit of an angle, you just tell people it's at the beach. <laughs> there is some really sideways trees in Tofino. Mm -hmm. Come on, get off my fingers. Okay. Get rid of this. Get rid of all the little bits on my fingers. I've been cutting designer paper and ribbon and embellishments for two days, too, trying to get my product shares ready to go. So that's what I will be finishing off tonight in the wee hours of the morning. And then just take a block and go over top of it like this, because sometimes those adhesive sheets don't stick as well as you would like them to stick. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have done solid trees so you could see the solid part. Solid trees. Where is that paper? There it is. Here's that glimmer paper. Isn't that gorgeous? It is. I'm going to cut soon as I find the dies, I'm going to cut the background trees and we'll see if we want to use them and make solid trees out of them. Because why not? I have the paper. We might as well see if we want to use it. And this is that lovely glimmer paper that doesn't leak. 
Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Avalanche. Doesn't leak? Yeah, the, the glitter doesn't come off of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, didn't you know trees leak? No, glitter leaks. Do you remember that old stuff? Oh, my gosh. That was so leaky. Even in the packages, when you took the glimmer paper out of the packages, what was left over was full of, I remember in particular, the black one. Okay, so there's the tree with its piece, the holy piece on top of it. Looks there's, good. There's the tree just by itself. And then here's the tree with just the holy. So which do you like better? The holy, the plain, or the, du the dual tree? I like the dual. I like the dual too. We'll see what they say in Facebook as I get dimensionals on my sentiment. Oops, I have to cut it first. Oh, yeah, cut it crooked. Well, it can be a Tofino sentiment. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, I still want to go to Tofino, and it's so busy there right now. It's time for Taco Fino. Okay, let me see what the con. Um, Valerie says, wow. Norma says dual. Connie says holy. Valerie says holy. And Vaughn says dual. And Holly said dual. So that's three duels and a holy. I mean, a ho ho holy. Okay, put the happy birthday on there. Like that. And we'll put dimensionals on the ballerina. Oh. I forgot about the glue dots and now there's glue everywhere. Sorry, I just have to take the smushed glue off. Yep, some days. We'll just put more glue on. Remind me that that glue is there. Somebody, anybody. That's probably Valerie's job. <laughs> Valerie, you have a job. Because she likes to be cheeky and remind you of things. She does. Okay, keep my fingers out of the glue. Oh, we can put her on the rock. Look, she could be dancing on the rock. Yep. <laughs> Valerie says, why, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you do it all the time, Val. So is our weather supposed to be good this weekend or rainy? You know? I think it's supposed to start getting good. Um Tonight's news, I think it's Monday, Tuesday before it's really good, but it, it looks like the weekend's going to be decent. Yeah, nice. And I'll go for that. Just about froze to death camping on Sunday. Oh. Oh, you were over at the, the, the na that native campground, yeah. Campground right on the ocean there. Were you, did so, you have an oceanfront one or a back? Um, we were actually on, um, like the estuary or whatever there, but oh, okay. 
my other son was actually beachfront and then we were behind him. So if we sat at their place, we had beachfront. And if it was really windy and yucky, we sat at (laughs) John's because it had a bit of a wind block. Nice. I like it there. Oh, I had fun last year when we were there. It's a great place to walk when it's low tide. Mm, Yes. And does it still have the big crab um, pond when the tide goes out? I never noticed it, but... No, it was, it was, oh, this should be up on dimensionals. That's all right. It'll stick there. All right, there we go. That is really cute. Isn't that adorable? Okay, there's the two of them side by side. But we haven't got any flowers on the grass on the right hand side yet, Mrs. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> what color are we going to use? We have pale papaya, fresh freesia, or polished pink. I use polished, polished pink. I use polished pink on this one and I match the flower. This one can let me know. Holly says polished pink. Because that would match the tutu, wouldn't it? It would match the tutu. So while you're deciding that, I will color my inside hippopotamus. That's the dark one, but not that one. Our northern sun has a hippopotamus tattoo on the back of his calf and it's orange and it has it has wonky eyes it's the cutest thing now both of my children have defaced the bodies that i gave birth to without asking me my youngest son informed me on this weekend that he's having a tattoo designed. Why? Because yeah, I've yeah. always wanted one. Yuck. <laughs> I know. Well, Phil, Charlie's is about this big. And he's he's really cute. He's got wonky eyes and he's orange and he's adorable. Phil is in the process of getting his they're at the shading stage now and his goes his goes from here to here so it's his whole arm and it's an octopus wrapped around an anchor it's it's um it's beautiful it's not done yet he's the the guy is now shading they they definitely take time they Uh, do but that's my youngest son is it's the like the whole shoulder and down to his elbow yeah whatever yeah yeah the nephew that was here today is um I think what little hair he has on his head, he shaves off. And one of his tattoos starts going up the back of his head, like behind his ear. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking that had to hurt. I just stuck my finger in the glue. Glue. (laughs) I can't imagine having that done on your head. I can't imagine having it done on any part of me, but... (laughs) Norma says Daniela, which is Norma's daughter, has an octopus on her forearm. And Valerie wants purple flowers. She's the only one that's answered the question besides Holly. Up to what color the flower should be. I wonder when Janet's back. 
She wasn't sure. Mm. I bet it's cold up there. Oh, burr. Uh, yeah. Well, she said they were going for a couple of weeks. Yeah. And she's only been, this is what, into the second week. Well, she left. Yeah, she's only been gone a week, I think. No, wait. She left. With the day school was out, which was the twenty third of June, so it's been two weeks. Wow, uh, where did where did that time go? Yes. Okay. Uh, Connie says pink and blue, and and Norma says purple, pink and blue. You mean pink and purple? I could put just some of everyone. One, two, three, four, five. We could put, do you want to mix them? Put all three colors on there? That might be cool. Mm -hmm. mm. Or go with the purple, the fresh freesia, because that's what's got more vote, the most votes. Oh, I'm glad you're keeping score. I wasn't. Well, I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting here. <laughs> and I have 42,000 colors going on here. Just about done. Just about just doing the nails. Oh, Maggie had had a pet here. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse's aunt is a, what do they call them? Esthetician aesthetician in Victoria, in Victoria, nope, Nanaimo. So she did a, a mini petty on Maggie and she was so proud of her purple toes. <laughs> so cute. Like the nails are this big. <laughs> oh, Valerie likes, there is no blue ones, Connie. They're purple, pink, and um, pale papaya. So I can't put the blue. Valerie likes purple too. All right. Where's my, I need my take your pick end. Cause this makes this so much easier. Purple. Yep. But then it won't let go. Let go. Purple purple, pink, pink, and one pale papaya, just because I can. Oh, I like the multicolored flowers on there. That's cool. That yes. is. Good choices. All right, I'm done. I'm done. That is cute. Thank you. Uh oh. Are you still there? I am. Okay. Is Facebook still there? This stupid. There we are. This stupid new mouse I got has. A button. Oh, wait. Let's just shut that woman up. It has a button there. And when I pick it up, that's where it does it. And then it does something funky every time I pick it up. And it's, it's a pain in the ass. Just saying. Oops. Was that my outside voice? I apologize. <laughs> it's okay. We understand. Oh, Yvonne, yes, she says, yeah, maybe you've won me over with the hippos. <laughs> <laughs> They're free, Yvonne. So why would you not get them? They're free. So if you got the hippos and you got the dies, and then you got the cards and envelopes, 
you would have a free card because let's just say those are the ones I got with you know when you is I've got the hippos and the dies and I got those cards yep and I'm thinking I got a girl's birthday at the end of the month oh that might be what's coming up I got to do a couple of guy cards first though uh well, you can make a hippo guy card. Make him orange like Charlie's tattoo. <laughs> I could, but I got other ideas for these two uh, guys that are coming up. You could use these ones. I could, except I don't have those ones. Oh. Yes, so what I, what I did when I used these, because, you know, I like to decorate my insides, right? Yes. Well, the white is not the same. It's so different. So on one of them, I put pale or soft sea foam on the inside. So I used it as a full card. And soft sea foam, you can write on because it's light. So you don't have to worry about being so dark. But I cut the front off and I made it five and a quarter by four and then put that onto a card front. Mm. And that would give you, you'd have a piece of white that's the same color as the other cards if you want to use it for an inside on a. Yes. Yes, yes you do. So you have to think outside the box sometimes when you see these things. Now, you might not like this, the soft sea foam with the pool party, but. You might be able to flip these around. I haven't tried. Shall we try? What time is it? Nine. I guess if I used my undo, it would undo a bit, a bit better instead of ripping. But I want to. I wanted to try this when I was making cards, and I never did it. Smarter than the average bear you are there. <laughs> Except that isn't glue on it, is it? No, it's no. just got like a little edge. Um, I was talking about the envelope flap. There's there. glue here. Mm. But it's dry glue. And you could cut that off and make it just straight across. And then you wouldn't have that glue on there. But I would use my undo or do it a little bit more gentle, gentler than I did. Let's see if unglue, undo will work. Let me move some stuff out of the way so I don't. It doesn't destroy anything, but let's see if this what this stuff does. I was going to say it can be a bit messy if you're a little too um, liberal with it. Yeah, but it, it dries and it doesn't destroy anything ever. So when I, you know how you get a card from like a Canada Post, come you get a, some, a letter in the mail and the stamp is not canceled. Mm -hmm. I use this and take the stamps off. Ah. It does not even destroy the adhesive. So you can still reuse the same adhesive. Yeah, I don't know what kind of adhesive they have on here, but it's, a, it's, um, it's coming, but it's, being very difficult. So you could do that. Of course, the way Canada Post is now, I've just put tape right across the stamp too and put it down that way. Oh, it literally just cut it off the envelope. And Are they allowing that now? Because they used to send it back if you did that. Well, it's if they didn't send it back to me. So nice. They, they either put it through or yeah, I think it really depends on who's working. Yeah. Or whether you put it in a box or you hand it to a person. Because if you put it into a box, no person ever handles it. Mm -hmm. It goes through the machine. So this is doable. You would just, I think I would try and figure out. Oh, well, there you go. Hello, dummy. Look. Look. Yeah, perfect. I now have a blue envelope to go with my blue card. 
So we just put some adhesive here and we'll put that on there. And this is not quite dry, but I'll put adhesive on it anyways. And do that, do this. Now we have a blue envelope to match our blue card. Ta-da! Yeah, I thought like those cards and the envelopes was like a really good value. And they're cute too. The, like they're not gaudy. You can use them in the background of, a, of any card. It yeah. doesn't have to be flowers. I used it with elephants. Norma, I did a I did a buy of undo. You can get it in Michaels, or you used to be able to get it in. Sorry, I'm swearing. Michaels. It was really expensive. And a couple of years ago, we did a bulk buy of undo from oh, Uline down in the States. And I think I've got one or two extra bottles hanging around because I also got bought myself three liters. So I, I've got enough undo to last me until I'm 400 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That turned out really good. I am impressed with myself. Yep, that is. Hmm. And you don't even have to stamp anything on it because it's pretty. Okay, so don't now that we've got that. Norma, talk to me. Have have your people call my people. <laughs> hmm. Um now that we've got that, don't forget about my elephant class. You get the bundle and you get, let me find my newsletter here, because then I can tell you the right information. Oops. Newsletter. Newsletter. This is the July one. Oh, it's not in here. Nope, that's Cottage Rose. So it was in my weekly update. Bundle, a package of dimensionals, card kits to make six cards, and it's the Elephant Parade Bundle. Yeah, I was going to say, because you get the stamps and the dies. You do, you get the, yeah. the, the bundle. Yeah, I got to sign up for that stamp index let me because i haven't got the stamps here with me they're across the other side of the room that far <laughs> my room is so I'm big so, <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> oh my god look at this look at how adorable these are they are so cute they weren't on my list but they will be now because i will it's cute yeah so if you it's it's 57 50 for the bundle so if you add a package of dimensionals which i've done into the price of the class then you get to choose a free celebration item you could choose more of these and be able to make more of those cards once you are done the class yeah so that's open now and that's happening in august right Yes, ma'am. I'm so bad at this. It's about the, is it like the 17th or something? Or is it 23rd? 23rd. It's a Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, that's right. Because I'm hoping that it works out. But that's my sister in law's birthday. Well, I'll tell her to come to the class. <laughs> You're getting six cards. She could do three and you could do three. See? That, that is definitely true. But yeah. maybe uh, maybe I'll be a really good sister-in-law and offer to make dinner on the 21st. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's happening in August. And you can sign up now. Either email me or um, somewhere there in Facebook is the event with the link to the... Let me just go there and get it. To the Google form to sign up. Nope, that's not what I want want this one google forms 
I love Google Forms. Oh my goodness, they are so fun. Has anybody used Google Forms? Not me. I love them because copy over to Facebook in the comments. There we go. There's the link to sign up. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, it you can sign up before July the 29th, 2022. And I'll put the link to the registration in the comments. Now, unfortunately, this class is only open to people in Canada because I can't send product over the line. Okay, over the line, you know, any any line out of outside of Canada. That's <laughs> what my mom used to say. You know, you go over the line. That's how they always talked about going into the States. Yep. There we go. There's our hippopotami. This is... They are cute. All right, ladies, thanks. Um, if you are, what about without product? Connie, have your people call my people, we'll talk. Because I didn't think about that. That could be an option for out of country people, yes. So send me an email or a message or something and we'll talk. Um, what was I going to say now? It's gone out of my head. Don't know what it is. Oh, yes, I now I remember. I'm putting an order in. So if anybody needs anything, let me know. If you are part of my monthly tutorial subscription, I am offering 10% off the deckled rectangle dies this month because I use those in the cottage rose. Um, cottage rose cards which is what the monthly tutorial is this month. So I like those. I have them. Oh, I like, I use them all the time. They're fun. Okay, ladies, have a wonderful weekend. I will be back Monday with something exciting. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Yeah. I got no idea what I'm doing Monday. Tomorrow's Friday, right? All day. <laughs> All day. All day. Oh, yay. Thanks. I am Connie. forever 16 on Fridays. Forever 16 on Fridays. Oh, party day on Friday. It was the best day of the week when you were 16. Yeah. It was. I <laughs> barely remember those days, even though they were only seven years ago for me. Yeah, it was see for me just last year when I was 16. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, ladies. I'll see you on Monday. Stamp and smiles. Bye for now. Thanks, Glenn.